Nick speaking. And here we go, we're having another go at this space junk mission with uh, four players. And I've deployed here, I've got um, a Tervagon and some Termagaunts, some Hormagaunts, more Hormagaunts in reserve, and Demon Melanti. And I've got Tyranid Prime as my HQ. And we've got some Tau setting up over here. Two Piranhas with fusion things on the front. Two Hammerheads. A squad of Carbines, a squad of Carbines. It's one of veterans from the Admiral, another one of veterans. There we go. Um, well, over in that corner, Blood Angels, they're pretty much reserving everything. They've just infiltrated their scouts. <laughs> and then over this side, we've got Ultramarines. And they've also got some scouts uh, just over here. So we'll see what happens. And it's going to be fun. Oh, and of course, we've got our sweeties uh, ready to go as well. Four. Okay, well, that's uh, turn one just gone. Basically. Ultramarines made a play towards me, and I made a play towards them, and I found my rough terrain test, and uh, didn't get the assault on. Tell over there, they shot everything, killed a space marine and a hormigaunt, and then over here, scouts are battling it out. We're playing random turns, so basically we've got these dice, um, one colour for each army, and we put them in this cup here, randomly take them out. Uh, it's uh, good fun. Okay, see what happens. Okay, we just start the turns three, and uh, basically the two uh, ultramarines came down, wiped out my hormigaunts, and then in my turn I spawned th 14 of these, and I got double, so no more coming out. And then I just sent these termigaunts into the ultramarines, just one guy left. And shooting them. the end of no, turn two for the Blood Angels saw a deep striking land raider come down. That's got troops in as well. And took out one of these tanks. And it's now the Tau's turn three. Coming to the end of turn threes now. And it's a bit of a melee going on between Blood Angels and Tau. Ouch. And uh, well, I'm sort of basically just battling out against these Ultramarines. Doom and Melanta came down. Come on, man. He did an epic foul. Three squads all passed their leaderships, <laughs> and then a massive scatter on the big tower yeah. down to two wounds. And uh, I assaulted this rhino, and I found it. Razorback. It's difficult to tell without a turret. It's supposed to be a razorback. <laughs> and uh, I wiped mm -hmm. the guy out there, so I'm just in terrain basically. In the turn three, the objective just about to come down. Um, massive assault here, Doom and Melanti. Nothing really happening. Killed a few of those guys, wiped those out with Melanti. And over here, massive melee. Uh, Blood Angels are trying to take down a few of these pariahs and stuff. And now the objective, our sweetie, is going to come down. And it's a dead on, right oh, up oh. on there. Look at the door though, Derek. More to go. Okay, they're coming up to the end of turn four. I sent the Carnifex into this rhino, it's blocking the door to the objective, although it might scatter in a minute, and we failed to hit it because it moved fast. Uh, just spreading out my gaunts basically, uh, got assaulted here by these ultramarines, and Duma melanti has got this one guy left, who is he actually? Um, just a normal captain. A normal captain with a 2 plus uh, save, for artifice armour. Um, these here failed their assault rough terrain test, and over here well, took out the land there we go, and there's a few blood angels left here, both troops, um, one little tail troops there, and some more troops there. So it's actually blood angels now, and then uh, we'll be scattering again. No. Yeah, that's it. Right, we're just coming up now at the end of turn four, and I managed to mobilise the rhino, just blocking the door. Duma Melanti yeah. eventually wiped yeah. out the whole squad, okay. yeah, the and uh, this just, oh, just hold, held up really. Three, six, Over here, got a bit of a battle going on Blood Angels and Tower. Yeah. And the yeah. objective two is minutes. just about to scatter 2d6. Oh, two wounds. Um, yeah, two wounds. Mm. Here we go, this is oh, our yeah. random game length. Two Basically, two Tau, Ned, uh, oh, the well Ultramarine done. to Blood Angels. Yeah. Blood Angels came up last, so what will happen in a minute? is these will go back in to the cup, which is random. The Blood Angels goes in after the next one's pulled out, and when we go on to turn five. Uh, so we'll see what happens. There we go, got to scatter the objective now, 2d6. And it, oh, it's going over towards this piranha. And who's that down there? Yeah. That's the Space Blood Angels chaplain, yeah? Mm -hmm. Librarian. Librarian. Yeah, there we go. This is going to be... 
five, so gonna see if there's another town in a second. I managed to get my Hormagaunts onto the objective. I was assaulted by these guys, took off the objective, although well, it was contested anyway. And we'll just see if there's another town. Please be. Yes. Great. Game would go on. And now we go for the scatter. So one dice now, see if it moves. It does, yes. three inches just over there. So it's going to be. More around the other way, right? Yeah. Probably going to be a draw this game, and although I do have the Tervagon here, who is a troop's choice. I was facing that one. Well, I just had my turn six. I managed to take out the Piranha here with the uh, uh, Tervagon. Uh, Doom and Melanti, he tried to shoot it but missed. These Tervagons, Hormagons now are just uh, on the objective. And it's going to be Tau's turn and then Blood Angels. And uh, we're in here, this is contested. I'm in here, it's all contested basically. Oh, See if there's another turn. Yep. Yep, game goes on. What okay, well the game went to turn seven in the end and uh, it scattered another inch. Basically Blood Angels just got this bike left and Ultramarine's got the mobilised tank there. And here I've got loads of troops around the objective but it's being contested by this hammerhead, hammerhead thing. I did destroy the big weapon. Yeah, yeah. There you go, but that's it, so it's a draw. Thanks for watching.